Hello, everyone. Welcome to Good Enough Live Broadcast. I'm your host Sam, and today we're going to show you something different about our uh, Q Q Q Nap uh, Wireless Adapter AC two thousand six hundred. And uh, basically, we've all known that we have launched a lot of new NAS. No matter it's for three bay, five bays, or even nine bay, twelve bay, sixteen bay. But uh, that is just for the NAS. So uh, recently, we have also launched a new product, like a byproduct that is the, our wireless adapter, and we call it AC2600. Uh, and uh, today we're going to show you how to connect the 2600 with our NAS. Or if you are a developer and you are using the Ubuntu or Ubuntu PC, well, we will also show you how to connect the AC2600 into the Ubuntu PC, and then we will demo we will show you the demonstration for how to create your own SSID and password no matter it's on your Ubuntu PC or on your QNET NAS. So let's check on the title today, introducing the QWA AC2016 PCIe wireless adapter. Use your NAS as a wireless access point with the wireless AP station, which is also uh, our own application you can download in our app center. So today we have our PM Bowden with us and he will show you uh, several topics. First, how to combine with your PC and how to use it on our QNAP NAS. Second of all, he will do the demonstration to you to show you how to link to all the devices. And third, he will tell you all the applications that you can use by using our wireless adapter. So let's get into our slides. And uh, okay, we just directly go to our first page, uh, the QNAP. Specialty made for Ubuntu Linux. So uh, we, will, we will let you know that, uh, first of all, we will let you know the, the hardware and the material of this AC2016. Then we will show you why we call it 2016. And uh, for what is uh, more important than all of this, uh, basically that is a uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz and uh, 5 gigahertz. You can use it at both at the same time with one of our cards because uh, per my understanding, we have two processors inside of this uh, wireless adapter. So uh, uh, if you are a reseller or installer selling QNAP NAS, you can also uh, check on the material and you can also check on what are the advantages and how to use it. And uh, in case in the future, if you, can, uh, if you want to push this wireless adapter with our QNAP NAS into your customer and you'll know how to convince them to create your more profit. And if you are just a QNAP user, uh, you can also put a focus on the applications. So you will know that if the demand is just happen to be what you need. Okay, so uh, there are four ways to build our devices. So I'll let Bowden to uh, show you all the rest of the slides. First, uh, we will show you uh, how the wireless net, uh, network mean. network uh, advantage, and uh, second, uh, we we will introduce QWA AC twenty six thousand this mm -hmm. car, and uh, third, we will build uh, teach you how to step by step build a uh, AP station, uh, and the fourth, uh, we have some application introduction. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And this is the wireless network card, how it looks like. Basically, you will see the antenna and the, the, the hardware itself. And then these are the advantage of using the wireless network card. Basically, there are four points. You can make a direct access to your uh, as your own terminal. And then uh, you can uh, use the 5 gigahertz and 4.2.4 uh, gigahertz at the same time, because that is a dual band, right? Yeah. And the third is that uh, we can create a flexible configuration and uh, uh, network expansion only in one PCI card. Yeah, for one user or one device. Yes, <coughs> and because uh, some of our NAS, we have two PCI slots. Yeah. So you can install not only one, but two of our uh, adapter, mm. yeah, or even more. Mm. Yeah. And then we, the most important thing is creating your own private network, right? Mm. So this is the first uh, first phase we're talking about is the Ubuntu system and our wireless adapter. This is the uh, something called edge computing. 
personally, I do not understand what is edge computing, so I will leave open with this page. Oh, uh, we can uh, collection the data uh, from device and uh, computing uh, uh, in our what is AP NAS and uh, Ubuntu PC and uh, show a result. Okay. To make uh, make more speed. Okay, the more faster speed. speed right? yes. <coughs> okay, and uh, okay, this is important. Uh, in traditional using, uh, we will connect all uh, device in a uh, AP router, so they can they will make uh, this router uh, loading loading too high. Mm -hmm. And now we have this uh Q uh QWS twenty six car. We can make a PC or NAS uh into a wireless AP, so we can uh, access direct to PC and NAS to separate NAS uh, traffic to avoid PC router loading down the network. <coughs> okay, uh, the, the structure is like this. If we have one router at home and we have tablet, we have cell phone, we have computer, all using the wireless function. So basically everything will connect to the AP the router. So if I'm using my cell phone connect to my NAS and the process is like my cell phone to the router and then to the NAS. That is for uploading the, the, the command and then the NAS will send something I want back to uh, through the router and then go to my cell phone. Which means that uh, we have a router as a bridge but if a lot of devices are doing this job the router will have higher loading and Basically, that will affect the, the speed, transmission speed. So when we are using the AC2016, uh, sorry, 2600, we just uh, put, install the card into the NAS or the PC directly and use the NAS and the PC as, a, as its own AP server. So my cell phone and my tablet can just connect to the PC or the NAS through the AC2600. That is kind of a point to point or something which that is the structure is without the AP router. So basically, first, the speed will be faster. And the second of all, the, the bandwidth consumption will be lower. So the AP uh, loading will also be lower. So that, that is what you mean, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the a AC2600 can not only be uh, AP, right? It can also like connect to another AP or as yes, a client. Yes, we can use a one band as a client and a one band as AP to set up a flexible uh, wireless environment. So can connect to mm. another AC yes. wireless adapter, right? Okay, so uh, we just talked about we can connect, uh, sorry, we can install more than one adapter, mm. wireless adapter into NAS. So if we have a PC, it has more than two PCI slots, we can even install like three or four or even as more as your motherboard has the PCI slot. Mm -hmm. So we can create different several uh, internet environment. Yes, to okay. get higher performance. Okay, so mm -hmm. if that is a Ubuntu PC, maybe you can try it this way. So, but if you are using our QNAP NAS, uh, we have, I think, two PCI slots at at, at the, 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 the most one, right? Uh, so you can use two of the uh, wireless cards. And then this is the first of the topic, how to turn your Ubuntu PC into a wireless AP. Uh, before we check that, we will see the structure and then we will see what kind of uh, QNAP NAS that you can do. You can you can co-work with our uh, wireless adapter, and uh, since we have a virtualization station, we have container station. So basically, you can also install the Ubuntu onto our QNAP NAS. So you can also use the wireless adapter. This is the structure from a NAS with the adapter, and then with our own app wireless AP station. You can just. And we can use uh, our QNAP uh, NAS and the uh, QWAC26000, this car, and uh, we just uh, have to 
uh, three steps to set up a wise AP station mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so that we can make a, a tuner pass into wise AP. <coughs> and then these are the uh, compatible, compatible list of the ARM base and x86 X base of the NAS. So you can check if your NAS is in the list. If yes, congratulations, you can use the wireless adapter without any other demand or other extra uh, okay cost. But if your NAS is not in this list, uh, maybe you can consider to change a new one because uh, uh, the NAS nowadays from QNAP are more uh, stable and the efficient is also higher than the previous generation, I think. So uh, just check. And uh, if you want to get to know more about the NAS, you can also subscribe our channel. And uh, we have a lot of videos introducing you a lot of different kinds of NAS. So you can just check if there's anything you want and uh, check the hardware and the software to design it if you're going to buy a new one. So. Uh, this is another point that you can freely set up independent and secure wireless connection interface. So uh, I think that is good for uh, enterprise or uh, surveillance system, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if we have a uh, private, private uh, IoT mm -hmm. uh, environment or mm -hmm. we have some uh, monitor, mm -hmm. uh, we want to use higher uh, secure uh, network environment environment so uh, we can use uh, our NVS this to okay. set up uh, independent network okay mm. and basically if you are using IoT products uh, we have our Q IoT app and our green grass also is uh, is another app and you can download from our app center, you can combine everything together. Maybe you can reach another new features and new combination of using the AC W uh, AC two thousand six hundred. So that is uh, the flexibility and the imagination of this product is bigger. Depends on your choice and your demand. So the second uh, phase is the introduction of the wireless uh, adapter. So we will show you. Uh, the material and uh, the, the product level. Uh, we have four uh, RPSMA connect uh, on this car, and uh, we also have core antenna uh, match T base. Mm -hmm. And then we make it uh, low profile PCIe. Uh, we also give you three uh, size bracket for all QNAP NAS. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have Active cooling model to uh, ensure the transmission quality. Okay. And it can also adjust the three level fan uh, speed by real time temperature. Okay. And uh, we use PCIe Gen 2 by 1 uh, interface. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, it can up to uh, 500 MP uh, megabyte byte. Uh, PCIe bandwidth. Okay, so uh, <coughs> this is the uh, this like this is the overall overview of the adapter, and then we will check on the processor. By uh, we just said that it's a dual band, so you can create not only five gigahertz but also two point four is based on your uh, preference. So we use a dual that that is what Qualcomm QCA nine nine eight four as our processor. So, so the two processors are the same, right? Yes. Uh, okay. We use two uh, Qualcomm IC. Uh, it allow uh, uh, our network can work at the same time. Okay, and then why do we call mm. it two thousand six hundred? Is because mm. the five gigahertz can provide you one point seven uh, megabit per second, and then the two point four gigahertz can provide you eight hundred megabit per second, which means one point seven plus eight hundred is around uh, two point five. Blah blah blah. So uh, we will call it uh, two thousand six hundred because that is reach that amount that 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 number. So that is why we named this two hundred six hundred. And then uh, for the antenna, you can uh, let's check on the antenna. This is the antenna, and uh, you can see you can bend all the four antenna into that the direction you want. 
and we have 80 centimeter of the expansion uh, cable with four connector that you can just uh, can you see that with four of this kind of connector you can just connect into the the wireless part okay so uh, i think we can just go back to the slides thank you and uh, we have two holes right here if you have screw on your wall you can just hang up there but if your environment does not allow you to screw on the wall you can also put it on the uh, metal plate or something like the ceiling or any other thing because that is uh, we have magnet inside there inside this uh, that, uh, antenna so uh, basically you can install it at a lot of different places based on your real condition of your cubicle or office or any other else and you can change the antenna based on your demand if you think the uh, official original antenna from QNAP is not enough for you the efficient is not as good as you want you can change by yourself okay so this is the environment we just we just mentioned about you can use the wall mount or the magnetic method to install the, the, the expansion antenna right mm -hmm. and then this is uh, we have uh, like we have to call on QCA and uh, IC mm -hmm. uh, so it allow we multiple, uh, uh, multiple user to use this car and uh, what is MIMO? Multiple in, multiple in, multiple, multiple, in, multiple out. So basically, <coughs> the, 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 this, which means that this car support uh, a lot of users to read and, uh, sorry, to, to use the bandwidth of this car at the same time, right? Yes. And we support like the uh, A02 AC and the A, B, and other I, E, E, E. Yeah, if you go in, uh, this, 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 we, yes. we support this spec. Mm. Okay. Okay, the next is the of the bracket because we just say that uh, you can choose three of the different bracket depends on the model of your NAS. So all the bracket are the in, in that is a uh, official we, set. We right? give you a, a three size uh, bracket in mm -hmm. the package. Okay. Yes. So when I buy it, I have all of these kinds of bracket. I can change by my uh, spec of the NAS. Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay, so the next thing is we will show you how to use a wireless base station to set up on Ubuntu or the QNAP NAS. So uh, first, we will show you how to install the the the, the, the wireless card with the uh, command or something into your Ubuntu PC. And uh, for Ubuntu PC, uh, the requirement is you have to have this 17.10 or later version of your Ubuntu and then your kernel version needs to have 4.13 or later and the driver is also right here ATH10K so if your Ubuntu PC reach this requirement congratulations you can use the wireless card and then it's very easy you just have to do it by freeway check your uh, install your Ubuntu and install the wireless card and then install and set up the AP suite and uh, the next thing is how to key the command inside of your Ubuntu PC to turn on all the function of the AC2016, right? At 2600. So Bolden will show us the rest of the process. Uh, okay, let's uh, see this. And uh, we have some command here, and uh, we can change uh, if. Uh, in default, Ubuntu PC setting will lock the network uh, management uh, function. So we have to use this command uh, to unlock by uh, unlock Ubuntu PC setting. Okay. And uh, we also have uh, we if we need to change network interface card, then we can use this command to uh, change that. Okay. Mm. And then the next is the first step. Yeah, first step, uh, we create a host APD 5G mm -hmm. uh, config profile. profile. Mm -hmm. And the second, we uh, can set up interface. Mm -hmm. 
um, next step. Okay. We can set up driver. Uh, we can set up driver, and uh, we can see the uh the command. command. Okay, so the yeah. command are uh, the command is under the light blue, and then the black color is the what what are what are uh, what are the black lines? Means? Uh, in, uh, you can see this uh other instruct. Mm -hmm. If you want to uh, change the setting, okay. Yes. So basically, the user just need to follow the 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 the, the commands in yes. blue, right? Yes. Okay. So the uh, step one is to do the config host apt, right? Yes. And then second, uh, second three is to set up the driver. Uh, set up uh, interface and okay. the set up driver. And, and then the, the step four is to set up SSID for mm -hmm. wireless network. And then uh, number five, we set up uh, SSID uh, QNAP AP, uh -huh. and uh, and then we have to set up wireless network operation mode. Uh, in in here we set the more five uh, G. Okay. And uh, next step. Okay. And then we have to set up uh, WPA setting. We just key in WPA equal to uh, and then just enter it. Yes. Step. Okay. And then we have to set up uh we have into password mm -hmm. for wireless network. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, in here we setting uh it QNAP one, one two, two three, three four five and uh less we have to stop up uh host APT. Okay. And then okay. So not only the 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 the, com the command in the, the in the blue world, we also have list you all the other uh, command that you can use if you want to uh, if you want to do right on the yeah. Ubuntu PC. If we want to uh, turn Ubuntu, uh, build a wireless AP in mm -hmm. Ubuntu PC, mm -hmm. and we also can see host APT detail information here. Yes. And later, I will show you how to uh, step by step okay. to build a, a wireless AP in Ubuntu PC. Okay. So uh, this is how we can. This is the architecture of the private wire, uh, private network environment. After we have done all the setting in our Ubuntu PC, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, we go to demo. Yes. Okay. So we go now. to demo. Oh, okay. First, uh, we go to IPv center mm -hmm. and uh, we download what is AP station. Yes. And then uh, we click. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, we will go to the Ubuntu. Oh, we go to command Ubuntu command here and uh, we uh, type this command. We can all the setting in here. Mm -hmm. uh, when we finish all the setting, uh, we can see Ubuntu wireless AP name uh, QNet AP 5G in here. QNet AP okay, 5G. So after we done all the like seven or eight uh, setup process, we can see that we have already built the internet right inside of our Ubuntu PC, and then we can also find the uh, SSID from the from the Wi-Fi system in this computer, which means we have done everything to turn on the Wi-Fi function, right? Okay, let's go back to our slides. And then after we have uh, after we check how to set up the the adapter on Ubuntu PC, the next thing is much more easier because we are going to show you how to do the uh, wireless AP setup inside of our Kinect NAS. Well, basically you just have to turn on your NAS and install the wireless adapter and you can just download the wireless AP app uh, yeah. and then make sure that uh, the installation is done and here are the four advantages and features that you can use 
with the wireless adapter. You can directly connect the NAS with wireless network and you can have a scalable or physical AP and you can add several access points with the multiple expansion cards like you can yes. add one or two inside uh, of the card, right? Yes. And then we can set up a separate wireless connection interfaces no matter it's IoT or uh, VM virtualization or even container. Uh, Yes. Yeah. And then the fourth thing is that we can have a fixed bandwidth for each different of the devices. No matter it's at 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, right? Yes. Okay, so that are the four uh, advantages that you can use with our adapter. So, this is okay. Uh, we can also set up with NVS. Uh, mm -hmm. to separate a uh, wireless connect interface mm -hmm. okay. here. <coughs> so uh, before we show you how to uh, turn on the function with our app, we will tell you two more application of the wireless adapter. The first is like the normal usage, like just yes, cell phone. We have a normal uh, application. Mm -hmm. We can use QNAP NAS mm -hmm. uh, with a wireless AB station. Mm -hmm. uh, to turn a QNAP NAS yes. into a wireless AP. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have uh, an advanced, advanced application to uh, build a private network environment okay. for our QNAP NAS. Yes, <coughs> when, will we need, when will we need to use a private network, like bank or like, um, uh, I don't know, in, in, in I have visited Thailand and they have their like military center or something. They also need their surveillance system, but they don't want the surveillance system to be uh, exp exposure on the uh, internet. So uh, they need to create their own private network environment. So that is why they can use our AC2600. They, they can use many of them on different kinds of NAS or different kinds of computers so they can have their private network environment. So these are the three steps to convert a QNAP NAS into an AP. First, after you download the wireless AP station from our QTS app center, which is free, after you download it, you get inside there and you can click the add access point and then select the wireless card and then you can do the configuration like naming the SSID and uh, set up the, uh, the, the password, right? Yeah. And uh, here is the UI of our app center. You can easily find, find the wireless AP icon and then you can just download it. After you're inside there, click the add access point right here at, at, at the left up hand side and then select a nick. Like because we have two IC in this QWAC26000 this car, so we can see uh, 5 gigahertz and the 2 2.4 gigahertz do mm -hmm. uh, in this select select. Mm -hmm. So we can just choose each one that we need. Yes. Right? <clears throat> and then you can set up the SSID and the password and go next. And then when it's done, we will see the active green line. We just have to wait in the studio turn to uh, activate mm -hmm. and then we finish the uh, wise AP station. Okay. So. Uh, here is okay. So even if we have set up uh, access point, we can also uh, like add it. Yeah. Uh, we can see uh, if our device uh, connect in our uh, wireless AP, mm -hmm. and uh, we also can see the detailed information in this panel. Okay. And uh, we can uh, modify setting in this panel, okay. just like SSID and password and. Sure. Uh, uh, other other, uh, other yes. information, right? Mm. Okay, so uh, we will demo. We will show the demonstration of how to set up in our wireless AP station. So we will go back to the computer again. Okay, first we open wireless AP station, and uh, we can see we we already have uh, two point four gigahertz here, uh, and then we add a uh, click at access point. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Choose five gigahertz, and next. Uh, we have input SSID uh, and uh, also uh, password. Okay. 
Okay, next. And a check summary here, and that's it. <coughs> okay, now we just uh, it wait, stay tuned. Okay, so when it's activating, we can also see uh, the original the original 2.4 gigahertz, this one, and we can delete it, or we can just choose to enable or disable it temporarily, or we can edit it. And uh, okay, the 5 gigahertz wireless access point has uh, has done, so uh, it's done, so let's check if we can find it in the computer. Okay. Uh, okay. We can see uh -huh. QWA is 26,000 by gigahertz here. Okay. <coughs> okay, so this is how you can create your own SS point in your like uh, uh, computer with QNF NAS in our QTS. And uh, let's go to see if there's any uh, other like usage to use the AC2600. We will sh I will personally show you some advance of the private surveillance system because I had uh, several years experience working in the surveillance system. So uh, I know that uh, basically we can take the QNAP NAS as an NVR, no matter you are using uh, 1080p or even higher resolution of your IP camera, you can all connect the camera with uh, uh, internet RJ45 cables or the wireless devices into our NAS because uh, the AC2600 has enough bandwidth that you can uh, receive and uh, uh, receive all the, the data transmission from your IP cameras. And basically, uh, no matter is ARM based or x86 based of the NAS, we can have uh, QVR Pro app or surveillance station app inside, installed inside of our NAS. And basically, we will have four to eight free channels for you. So uh, the private surveillance system like SMB or home user or chain store user, one NAS with four to eight free channel of the uh, IP camera, that is already enough for you. So uh, with the AC2600, you can also create your own personal internet environment, which you don't have to worry about your confidential video or, video, uh, or your IP uh, address will be stolen by other people that when they want to take a sneak peek to your own uh, living place or your own office. And then this is another function that you can do with our adapter. You can create your DHCP or NAT services so that you can ensure you can secure your surveillance environment because you, you can also use the virtual switch function that our QNAP, have, QNAP NAS also provides you. So next we will have six different steps to show you how to create your own secure uh, internet connection with our virtual switch. It's very simple. You just go to the control and then click on the network and virtual switch. And then like just from step one to step six, and then set up your own DHCP. And then when it's done, you can connect the uh, internet cable into the back panel of the port, uh, the switch, the virtual switch port, and then you can link the wireless AP or the connector, uh, sorry, the, the, the port of the connector together as your own personal private virtual switch and the internet environment. So uh, here is where to find out the uh, uh, virtual switch. So uh, here is how we will show you. you. Select advanced mode and create your own virtual switch. And then select the device for the virtual switch. And then when it's done, you can just set up the virtual switch IP with static or DHCP. And then enable the NAT and DHCP server and it's done. So when we have set everything, we can see the some other overview right here. We have a virtual switch and with the two access points from the AC2600 uh, and another adapter from the NAS, right? Yes. Okay, so now let's try to see how can we set the virtual switch inside of our NAS. So if you want to know more, just keep following our video. Okay, first we open network and the virtual switch. 
and uh, we choose add advanced mode and uh, click uh, visual switch add and then we also have to choose uh, advanced mode here and then select a device for a uh, visual switch <coughs> Okay, set up a uh, static IP. Next, uh, we have to enable an IP and a DHCP server here. And next, check the confirm for a virtual switch setting in a part. <coughs> So that is all. How can we set uh, the virtual switch to with our AC wireless adapter? And uh, as usual, it will take a little bit of time to do all the internal settings. And when it's done, I believe that we can also see the whole internet system structure in the overview page. And uh, let's see. Okay, now it's done. Let's see on the overview page. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is just as uh, the same as what you have said. Uh, private uh, network here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that is how you can set everything in the virtual switch page with your wireless adapt adapter card. So let's go back to our slides. So that is all the that is all the information that we're going to bring bring you today and all the advantages that we have already uh, mentioned that again in the previous video. So uh, if you like our video, please subscribe our channel. And uh, if you want to know more about QNAP NAS or all the other expansion devices, uh, we just sub subscribe on the YouTube or Facebook. We will keep launching you a lot of different videos. So I uh, thank you for your coming today, Bowden, and uh, we will see you next time by introducing our new, uh, sorry, introduce our uh, current NAS uh, TSBRAA2. So uh, we will see you this Friday. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.